Hey YouTube, it's Blinky Cab here. How is everyone? I'm just starting to do this video and I think it's just starting to rain, but uh, basically I'm going to show you how to do a hill start on a motorcycle. It's very easy uh, for all those new riders out there. Don't be afraid, it's easy. And for all those new riders out there that have come from driving a car maybe, I remember when I first learned to drive a car, a, a hill start was a bit of a scary thing. You know, you had to quickly take your foot off the brake to the accelerator and let the clutch out and all the jungle jingle business, it seemed hard, but um, don't be afraid. A hill start on a motorcycle is much easier than a car. It's much easier than it sounds. It's, it, it's easy, believe me. So here I am on a slight incline. For learning's sake, I would suggest you go and find the biggest hill you can find and uh, practice on, on that. So what you're going to do, let's say that I'm sitting at a red light or a stop sign or whatever the case may be, my bike is stopped and I'm on a hill and I need to then take off. And I'm pretty shit scared about rolling back, you know, so rolling back is what we don't want, you know, I don't want to roll back on the car behind me or something or roll back and lose control or whatever. I just want to be able to take off and look sexy while I'm doing it. So this is how to, how to do it. It's so easy. Um, you just want to put it in gear, obviously. So you're going to be sitting on the hill with the clutch in because you're in gear. Um, now you're going to use the rear brake to hold you there. Don't use the front brake. Okay. Just use the rear. So my right foot is on the rear brake and that's what's holding me on this hill. Now, if I let go of the front of the rear brake, sorry, I'm going to roll. See? So basically you use your rear brake to hold you there. And then all you need to do is to give it some throttle. It's just like a normal takeoff now. So just pretend you're on a flat road now and you and you and you you're going to take off but when you when the clutch engages and the bike wants to go forward, that's when you take your foot off the brake. So it's just like a flat start. The only thing is you have your foot on the brake when 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 you start to take off and then when it starts to you know, move, that's when you take your foot off the brake. So basically, I'll, I'll do it slow here. Um, you, you give it some throttle, right? Probably not that much, but as well, even more if you want, you can probably get it right up there. <laughs> Just give it as much throttle as you'd like and uh, let the clutch out. And when it starts to grab, hear it, hear it grab then. Hear that? And I can even feel the bike jolt forward slightly because it wants to go. The only thing is I'm preventing it from moving because my foot's on the brake. So, you probably figured it out by now, once the clutch engages and it wants to go forward, just take your foot off the brake and you'll move forward. And then from that point onwards, give it a bit more throttle and let the clutch out the whole way and you'll start moving. So, thr throttle, clutch out, foot off the brake, a bit more throttle, a bit more clutch out and there you go. That's all you have to do. That, that's, uh, that's all there is to a hill start, it's so easy. So, let's try it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop at this red light. So clutch in, make sure I'm in first gear. Okay, my, my rear brake is on. Okay, you know, and there's a car driving by, so I'll, I'll pretend that I'm doing stuff so I don't look like a weirdo. <laughs> okay, so rear brake is on, throttle, clutch, brake off. There, I just, you know, and once you do it, once, twice, five, ten, a hundred times, it just becomes second nature. It becomes very, very easy. So here, I am actually at a stop sign here. It's a slight incline. It's, an, it's enough to make the bike roll if I take my foot off the brake. So I'm going to keep the foot, my foot on, on the brake. I'm going to check. No one's coming. Okay, so I'm going to give it throttle, release the clutch. When I feel the bike start to move or I feel that clutch engage, that's when the brake comes off and then it just becomes like a flat, a, a flat road start. So I feel like I'm rambling and talking 100 miles an hour, but let's just do it quick here clutch off you know foot off it's, it's so easy it's so easy and i mean when you start getting better at it i mean you, you can almost just give it throttle and when you when you've given it throttle then you can take your foot off the brake and you might feel the bike roll back that split millimeter or two and then you know but uh, you know but by then you've let the clutch out and you're, you're moving forward <laughs> it's easy it's very easy so when you get your bike, or if you've just gotten your bike and you've tried to avoid hills or whatever, don't be scared, just go out, find the biggest hill, and yeah, that's a hill start. 